the weight of a crown legend from greece there once lived a king hiero of syracuse in ancient greece who decided to make a gold crown for himself he gave his order to an old trusted jeweler who died before he delivered the finished gold crown back to the king now the king was worried that since the trusted jeweler did not finish the crown his assistants could have stolen some of the gold from it he was wondering if it is even possible to figure that out without destroying the crown the king called for archimedes the scientist mathematician to solve this tough problem archimedes spent an entire week thinking how to solve this problem he realized that if the density of the material in the crown is the same as the density of the gold then that would prove that the crown was indeed made of gold density was mass divided by volume archimedes can measure the mass of the crown by weighing it in a balance but how can we determine the volume of the crown the volume of a crew cube can be calculated by multiplying the length breadth and height but it is difficult to calculate the volume of an oddly shaped crown while he was in deep thoughts he had forgotten to take a bath his wife was so upset with him for not bathing a whole week because he was smelling very bad she insisted on him taking a bath right away archimedes filled the bathtub with water in deep thought he re- he placed his feet into the tub and watched the water rise higher then he plunged into the water and some of the water sloshed out suddenly he knew the solution for the king's problem he leapt out of the bathtub shouting eureka i found it and ran all around the town without his clothes on his wife was so upset and embarrassed but he was so happy to have solved the king's problem that he didn't it didn't matter to him that he wasn't wearing any clothes centuries later archimedes is remembered for both do you kids know how to measure the volume of an odd shaped object from archimedes archimedes realized that when he got into the water the water level that is the height rose because he was now taking up some of the space where the water was so if he measured the volume of a bucket of water placed the crown into the bucket then recalculated the volume of the water he would find that the second volume is larger when he subtracts the original volume of water from the volume of the water with the crown in it he would then find the volume of the crown